Welcome to another Business Tech Planet video. Today, we'll show you how to create a survey in Microsoft Loop. First, we'll create a survey using a voting system. Then we'll create a survey using labels. And finally, we'll create a survey using the Q&A component in Outlook. To create a voting survey, start by typing forward slash table, and selecting table from the pop-up. Now double-click the first column header and type in your question. Then double-click the second column header and type answer. Next, hover over the answer column header and click the down arrow. Click change column type in the drop-down. Then select voting from the options. Now click the cells in the first column and enter the possible answers. If you want to create additional questions, right-click anywhere in the table and select Copy Table. Then press Ctrl or Command plus V on your keyboard to paste the table. Now simply change the question and answers. And if you want to create more answers, just hit New at the bottom. To create a survey using labels, type forward slash table, then select table from the pop-up. Now double-click the second column header and type answered by. Then hover over the column header and click the down arrow. Click change column type in the drop-down. Then select person from the options. Now hover over the first column header and click the down arrow. Go to change column type. Then select Label, and then New Label Group. Now enter your question at the top. Then type out the possible answers. Click Add option to create additional answers. And when you're finished, hit Save. Next, click any cell in the first column. Then hover over the options and hit the pen icon. You can now change the option color to your preference. And if you want to reorder the options, simply click the six dots to the left of the option. Then click and drag it up or down. To answer the question, your team members can select an answer from the options. Then, to make it easier to see who answered, they can add their name to the answered column. To create a survey using a Q&A component, open Outlook and hit New Mail. Now head up and click the loop icon. Then select Q&A from the drop-down. Enter a title for your survey at the top. And then mention the people you want to send the survey to. Next, add a question. Then click add a new question to create more. Now enter a subject for the email, such as survey. And finally, hit send. If you're sending the survey to more than one person, it's a good idea to tell the recipients to click answer before typing. That way, each person leaves a new answer instead of overwriting a previous one. That's all for this video. If you have any ideas on how to improve surveys in Microsoft Loop, let us know in the comments below. And remember to check the description for additional resources. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more Microsoft videos.